Kidney stones are so common in the emergency department, responsible for over a million visits a year. Kidney stones, small but very painful, often requiring emergency treatment and surgery. And one in 10 adult males can expect to develop a kidney stone over their lifetime. I see these patients when they come in the emergency department with acute obstruction causing pain, and it's excruciating pain. Many years ago, I was diagnosed as having idiopathic hypercalciuria, which has resulted in uh, quite a burden of kidney stones over the last 30 years. In 2014, Ken Jaffe participated in the first ever FDA-approved human clinical trial of non-invasive focused ultrasound used to push or reposition kidney stones. Ken Jaffe came to the trial with kidney stones. There was no pain involved, and at the conclusion of uh, our first session, I myself, as well as the other investigators in the room, had a chance to see the stones move from their initial position. These are your stones, Dr. Jaffe, that you gave to us immediately following the procedure. So that was about 45 minutes after we started. In the trials, ultrasound techniques developed at the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington succeeded in imaging and moving kidney stones in 14 of 15 human subjects, including one large stone measuring 10 millimeters, all with no pain or adverse events. Four out of six post-surgery subjects successfully passed more than 30 stone fragments. And in four subjects, what appeared to be a single large unpassable stone was shown to be actually smaller fragments also successfully passed. Only one patient, or maybe two, felt anything at all, and it was only a momentary twinge. The more exciting thing was really that we could move stones, and in almost every patient, we could reposition stones. This is a new application that the FDA has not seen before, and so we need to demonstrate that it is safe and effective for use in humans that there's no injury to the tissue, there's no discomfort for the patient, and that there's no lasting effects after the procedure. At APL Center for Industrial and Medical Ultrasound, research continues on how to improve ultrasound imaging of kidney stones. I'm working on improving kidney stone detection through this ultrasound twinkling artifact, which if you image the stone with color, shows the stone as rapidly changing color. So it makes it really easy for a non-expert reviewer to say that's a kidney stone. In the last couple of years, we have improved the twinkling signal on the stones to readily identify them and be more confident that we are looking at a kidney stone. Another target goal, breaking up kidney stones. We've developed a technology called burst wave lithotripsy. It's a new experimental procedure that we think can be used to non-invasively fragment kidney stones. If you have a large stone, you may want to break the stone into smaller fragments and then push those fragments out of the kidney all uh, non-invasively. So our eventual goal is to develop a platform technology that will uh, bring these, these different ideas together um, to be able to not only break stones, but also to be able to use ultrasonic propulsion and the imaging technologies to detect and target stones all, all into one uh, ultrasound unit that can uh, be used for comprehensive stone management. The success of the 2014 Human Subjects Trials was a major step forward, made possible in large measure by continued support from NASA. The Space Agency envisions a small, easy-to-use handheld device capable of diagnosing and treating kidney stones in astronauts in space, where there is no hospital emergency room just down the street. It's been a real uh, honor and a pleasure to work with the uh, Applied Physics Lab here and, and Larry Crum and Mike Bailey and the group. At the EVA hatch, I think that the tax dollars spent by NASA in, in this project really are not just helpful for the space program, but also patients on Earth and clinicians doing their best to help them. We have been privileged for many years to be involved with the National Space Biomedical Research Institute. The things that we're most interested in is medical ultrasound that applies to a clinical situation. We consider this a revolution in, in medicine. 
Ultrasonic propulsion changes the game. It gives us the opportunity to reposition a stone, relieve the obstruction, and potentially make somebody feel no pain. I had no pain. Trial subject Craig Mundy. Now there's almost no sensation at all. The only thing I recall was sort of a, just a warming sensation. I knew I was going to continue to have this burden of kidney stones. This was going to go on. So this is technology that was extremely relevant to my personal life. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.